This is an old table lamp we've had uh, for many years. Uh, what I'm going to do now is convert it into a dimmable version uh, by using a cord dimmer um, to put it in the middle of the circuit in the uh, mains cable. Uh, so I'm going to show you what we need to do for that and how to do it. Most important thing to remember is if you're converting a light fitting nowadays to, um, to a dimming one, make sure that you use a dimmable um, lamp or bulb in there. Uh, most of them are not dimmable and obviously now being LED there's a lot of electronics in there and the mains power is going to get disrupted when you put it through a dimmer. So absolutely the first thing you need to do is make sure this one is dimmable. Um, I've done that. I've also, the next thing to bear in mind is where you've got um, a dimmer. A lot of the old dimmer styles were rated for um, incandescent lamps, which were sort of like typically 60, 100 watts. So you actually found a lot higher rating in the dimmers. Um, the downside of that is the lower end of the wattage, quite often if you showed it less than um, say 20 watts, um, the, the dimmer would assume that it's actually an open circuit and then would start to fail. The result of that is the lamp actually starts flashing on and off and doesn't actually dim. So you do need to make sure that not only your lamp is um, dimmable, but also that your dimmer is LED rated. Uh, this one is, I've chosen this one on the basis that it's actually got a true on off switch um, associated with it, um, as, long, as well as the slide dimmer. Because I'm going to use this on a, as a bedside table lamp, um, having the true on off means that there'll be absolutely no noise from the dimmer. So there won't be that dimming hum that you get with a lot of the wall mounted ones. Uh. Right, the first thing you really need to do um, with this, obviously you've got to cut the cable, the existing cable. Um, make absolutely certain before you do that that the actual power is disconnected. Um, I know I need that to be about that sort of distance away. Uh, so I'm just going to cut this cable now and then um, strip it ready for wiring into the uh, Just before I take out the screw and open up the dimmer, a couple of uh, important things to point out on this particular model on the back of it. Uh, first of all, that you've got the confirmation that it is um, LED rated. Uh, the second one is, uh, very helpfully, there's a little QR code there that you can scan and that actually links to the manufacturer's website and it gives you the compatibility of the dimmer uh, with the um, various lamps. So I've already checked the lamp that I've purchased is suitable for this dimmer. Um, always worth doing that before you buy the lamps. Right, I've stripped the wires back to the suggested lens by the manufacturer. So I'm just going to connect up those terminals. This is obviously the lamp side. And then do the same with the mains. Uh, reassemble the dimmer and put in the cable cleats um, and then it'll be good to go. I've attached the cables to the lamp on this side, uh, the mains income are on this side um, as per the instructions. I uh, put the cable clamps in, obviously we need to make sure the cables are secure and now I'm just going to pop the front cover back over it and secure that one. Right let's test to see if it works, so I'm going to turn this on, I'll put the LED bulb in and there we go, it works, and sliding the dimmer up and down, it is dimming the lamp, so that's great, that's all now working, the lamp looks nice and stable. But on this dimmer, there's just a little adjustment switch here at the back, which allows me to set the minimum level, 
So I've put the slide dimmer to the minimum and now I just need to adjust this down to the minimum level so that's quite high coming down, coming down so how low can it go I should keep so that's all the way down that's great so I think this is now a really good stable dimmer so maximum brightness down to a really slim one so I'm really pleased with that as an LED lamp uh, the dimming on that seems superb and it's just made it a really nice functional uh, table lamp for the bedside okay thank you very much for watching and as usual uh, like and subscribe thank you